Well, definitely some good news has come out of the haunt community today as far as Florida haunts go. As Hallow Scream 2020 has officially confirmed that it will be running this year at Busch Gardens Tampa Bay. But for the Haunted House themed event, it will not feature haunted houses and only scare zones. So you gotta ask yourself, is it really worth the trip? Let's talk about it. What's going on everybody and welcome back to SoCal Exploring. My name is Scott and you're watching your stop for all things theme park and attraction related and in this case haunt related. If you guys are new here subscribe with those bell notifications on. Make sure that you're checking us out on social media Instagram at SoCal Exploring Media and Twitter at SoCal Exploring. If you want to purchase some official SoCal Exploring theme merchandise or Horror Nights Unscripted theme merchandise that podcast that we run with Lost TV and Hollow Thrills then make Make sure to click the T public link down below. We have tons of stuff on that merch site between masks, stickers, a wall art, phone cases, t-shirts, or whatever you want. It's all on that T public site down below. And lastly, if you want some more detailed theme park information slash haunt information, visit our website www.socalexplorn.com for more of that detailed theme park information that I was talking about. <laughs> But yes, Hollow Scream 2020 is confirmed for Busch Gardens Tampa Bay. And a lot of us Haunt fans were wondering, you know, Hollow Scream has not said anything. They're not doing any announcements. They haven't done anything of that sort. You know, Halloween Hornets Orlando got canceled like a month ago. Maybe it's been like a couple weeks. I don't know how exactly how long it's been. So, you know, is Hollow Scream next? Well, it seems like Hollow Scream is not letting the pandemic scare them away. And they're running their event for 2020. Like I said, the event will only be running with scare zones and entertainment. So I'm going to share my thoughts on it. I'm going to share my thoughts on how scare zones are going to work on it and all the other fun details and stuff that you need to know before attending Hollow Scream this year at Busch Gardens Tampa Bay. And now I don't know if Busch Gardens Williamsburg is running Hollow Scream, but Tampa Bay is for sure officially confirmed that they're running for the 2020 season. So let's get into the details, shall we, that we have provided on the website. And I will say right now, there are no scare zones announced or any other attractions announced for the event. We just know that it's running and know exactly the details of like COVID procedures, etc. Now you will need a reservation on top of your general admission ticket. And this is to help with capacity and limiting it to, you know, help out with social distancing, etc. So you will need a, a free reservation on top of your paid general admission. Now the general admission is $29.99, so $30 to get into Hollow Scream. And I believe that they let you in at Bush Gardens Tampa Bay at 5 o'clock and the event officially kicks off at 7 p.m. The event runs from 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. on Fridays and Saturdays and 7 p.m. until 11 p.m. on Sundays. So you're going to want to make sure that you get your reservations fast if you have not done so already. I'll go ahead and include a link down below on where you can buy tickets and make these reservations in the description below. But you're going to want to get these reservations fast because I have a feeling that they're going to go quick. And of course, past members and fun card holders will get discounted tickets for Hallow Scream. The select dates for Hallow Scream are September 25th until November 1st. So a pretty long time for Hallow Scream. I know that's what they typically do, but a lot of the haunts that are still deciding to run in the Orlando area at least only are running for a short period of time and sometimes even maybe just three weeks. So this is a long haunt for everyone, a fan of the haunt community that get to enjoy Hallow Scream. Now, one thing that I just notice that they did announce a show it's a new spacious outdoor fiend show the fan favorite fiend show starring dr frankenstein and his frightful entourage will take to its largest stage ever for outdoor performances on the festival field stage then they go on to say that seating for benches will be spread out and socially distanced from other parties so you know everyone is staying covid safe while attending and watching the fiends show now as far as health and safety goes they'll still be the same you know health and safety procedures that bush garden tampa bay 
the daytime theme park is implementing already. It will be the same stuff for employees, scare actors, um, guests who are visiting the event. You know, you got to get your temperature check. You have to wear a mask. You have to stay six feet between those and the ones around you. And they have a couple questions, you know, a frequently asked question section that answers some of the questions. How will scare actors stay safe? How will scare actors, you know, scare people? And how will Scream really doesn't give that much information on it? But we look at one of them. How will the scare actors be kept safe? In addition to the enhanced health and safety measures we've already implemented for our daytime ambassadors, we will be making additional adjust adjustments for the Hallow Scream team as needed, including specific considerations for prep space and break space. And then another one regarding scare actors asks, will performers wear protective masks in addition to costume masks? And it just says scare actors will wear protective face coverings and remain physically distanced from guests to ensure that guests and ambassadors are both safe. So yes, to answer your question, scare actors will stay socially distanced from the guests that they're scaring. So in other words, you're going to have scares that are coming at you from six feet away from you. And to be fair, that will scare some people, but not the majority of haunt fans that are used to going to these haunted events. But it doesn't say anything about the scare actors wearing actual face masks underneath their costume mask at all, even though that's what the question states right there. It just says that they're going to be scaring you from a six feet physical distance. And for those of you guys looking for confirmation on the no haunted houses this year in a reply to someone's tweet hollow scream tweets in an effort to provide a fun safe experience for our guests the event will not include haunted houses the creative production team has been consulting with medical experts and has modified the event to focus on a park takeover with open air scare zones and entertainment that brings us to our topic right now how is the event going to function will it be worth going will it be entertaining well, here's my thoughts on it. If they're running just scare zones, then there better be extra scare zones spread out throughout the park to kind of still give that maze kind of gauntlet experience. Now, if you guys have ever been to Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood, they do a good job in their backlot location, their backlot scare zone, of making the scare zone into kind of a gauntlet, kind of like an open air maze. And they are stating that they're going to have open air scare zones, so could they make it into a gauntlet and kind of make it feel like it? But if they don't do that, and they have the same amount of scare zones as they did last year, and not the same, or the same exact detail that they did last year too then I think that this event is going to be a flop. So I think in order for this event to be a success, then they need to, you know, increase the amount of scare zones that they have and put more detail in that they had the budget for the haunted houses, take that budget and put it into the scare zones, even though there's not really a high budget, I'm sure for Hollow Scream, since the park has been closed for such a long time, I still think that they can do a good job at, you know, using the money that wasn't used for the haunted houses and putting it into the scare zones and making it more scarier, maybe putting some more scare actors in there, and maybe be doing some more detail in this character's costume slash mask. Now with entertainment, it is a question how much entertainment are they going to have? Obviously, we talked about the one show already, but how much entertainment are they going to have? Is it just going to be musical entertainment? Are there going to be comedy shows? Is there going to be scare actor shows? Who knows? Right now, we don't know any of the official scare zones or the official shows besides that one that we talked about. But that tweet does say that it's going to be a park-wide takeover of scare zones and entertainment, so that leads me to believe that there's going to be something to do every corner but really what it comes down to is for the price point of $30 is it worth going I know a lot of people that go to Hollow Scream are from the Orlando area which I believe is about a two hour drive to Tampa Bay so haunt fans really gotta think is it worth them going all that way for the locals I'm sure it'll work out just fine and Bush Gardens will see success with the locals but with people who live in Orlando like I said who are for the most part as far as I know are the ones that go to Hollow Scream the most is it worth the drive down there I mean the $30 dollar price point is probably a good price point nonetheless but like I said with the gas and the food and everything else then you really gotta think you know is it worth going over there so do I think that the event will be a success well kind of I just feel like personally Bush Gardens shouldn't have run Hollow Scream this year if they weren't planning to run haunted houses number one it'd be safer and number two it just would be smarter from a business standpoint now do I think that they're gonna be successful from a business standpoint maybe time will just tell until we you know we get more details on scare zones if they kind of release some concept art and then we'll be able to really tell you know is this event going to be 100 successful or is it just going to be kind of in between but me personally i'm holding out for in between so i'm just going to wait until stuff gets announced and then i'll be able to judge it from there being like okay you know it's kind of worth it and you know at the end of the day at least it's something for the haunt community as like i said earlier in the video most of the haunts are getting canceled in the area for florida so at least this is something like like kind of a big haunt because 
The only really big haunts that I know of are Halloween Horror Nights Orlando and Busch Gardens Tampa Bay. So at least they have one to hold on to and enjoy this Halloween season. And also I feel like another big reasoning for the Busch Gardens deciding to run Hollow Scream this year is because HHN got cancelled. They figure they can capitalize and they'll draw in more fans of Halloween Horror Nights to their event since Halloween Horror Nights 30 is cancelled for this year. Or Halloween Horror Nights 2020 is cancelled because Halloween Horror Nights 30 is not cancelled. It's just postponed until 2021. And and like I said, you got to think about, is it safe? It seems like it's going to be safe for the most part. It just depends on the outside characters that they bring in. And, you know, will the characters stay true to staying six feet away? Or are they going to go back to their roots of scaring up close and personal, as all haunt events are usually are? It just really depends. We'll just have to wait and see once the event kicks off. But those are just my thoughts. So I want to know your guys' thoughts down below in the comments section. Do you think it's smart for Bush Gardens to run Hollow Scream? Will you be going to Hollow Scream Tampa Bay this year? Or are you just going to hold out and stay at home? and just watch the POVs and walkthroughs of the scary zones. My name is Scott. You've been watching SoCal Exploring. Positivity is key. And most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace out, everybody. Yeah.